In with that chase, today we learned the driver called 911 himself, threatening to kill someone if police did not back down. Good evening, I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. Police say he first terrorized his ex-girlfriend, stealing her keys and phone on Saturday. And when she attempted to change her locks yesterday, police say he broke down the door. Cairo 7's Allison Granny is live where it all began in Bellevue. Allison. Steve, that victim had borrowed her sister's cell phone. Yesterday, she locked herself in the bathroom. She called 911 on that phone and then hid it in a bathroom cabinet. So dispatchers heard everything. So when he chased her with his car, she hid in this apartment office. He broke in with his car into the building, and immediately police knew who was behind the wheel. All right, they're right behind him. Yeah. Only Chopper 7 was overhead for the wild and dangerous chase that started in Bellevue and stretched 20 miles to South Seattle. Trying to jack the car. Other drivers watched it all in disbelief. Here they come. I am surprised that nobody got hurt or killed today. 911 emergency. 911 dispatcher Amanda Stetz couldn't believe it. Any time that I saw like, oh, they hit a car or, you know, construction worker was hit, you know, my heart kind of jumps a little bit like, oh my gosh, I hope they're okay. You know, they're still pursuing this vehicle. I hope he doesn't become any more dangerous. Amanda was training, doing her final test on police radio when the 911 call came in. No one was talking, but they heard a domestic violence situation and they'd had calls about that suspect before knew sort of what to expect that he might be dangerous immediately they knew who was behind the wheel of the black jeep cherokee eric napick the 24 year old was already wanted he had a felony warrant for firing a gun in renton enough for bellevue to initiate and continue the pursuit as Amanda talked them through it. We were in Bellevue and then boom, they get on the highway. So now we have to talk to Washington State Patrol. A high stress test, everyone agrees. Amanda passed beautifully. But instead of focusing on herself, she worries for the victim. I'm just really glad that the victim is okay. Um, the strength of her, I just can't even imagine being in that situation. She was really smart to do what she did. And that victim was absolutely terrorized. In court documents we got in the last hour, it says that she vowed that she would not even stay here alone. But still, he came yesterday when there was a worker helping her, blasted right past him and went inside. Prosecutors did not wait to file charges, didn't even wait to set bail. Instead, they charged him today. They charged him with assault, domestic violence, burglary, and, of course, eluding. Now his bail is set at $2 million. Live in Bellevue, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.